This project started two years ago when we took a group of teachers to the Dominican Republic and the Durham Public Schools. And when we went to the Dominican Republic, we were intentionally trying to set up partnerships with some of the local organizations in the Dominican Republic. And one of the partnerships that we formed was with a group called Movimiento Artistico de las Hermanas Mirabal. And we became exposed to this group when we saw the work that they had been doing for the past three years in this province. They essentially had started a mural project and, and painted over 400 murals. The president of this movement, Hector Blanco, and he took us on a tour and showed us the murals. And as, as he showed us the murals, he talked to us about how this process had actually created an, an energy within the whole area for the arts. La manifestación misma de la vida, o sea, uno es una es un es un reflejo de la historia de uno. Nosotros somos que reflejamos la historia, dejamos la historia reflejada. Necesitamos fomentar el arte, o sea, promocionar, promover o sea, en los niños sobre todo. Meeting with the artists in the um, city of Tenares, we saw these humongous and beautiful murals that talked about the future. Um, hopes and dreams of the artists and the um, innovative, innovative ideas that they had to change. Hectic is from another part of the world that we're not really used to. So we just had to adapt to his own culture and his way of thinking and the way he does his art. We had to adapt to that. And it was kind of um, cool how cause, like, we picked up on his techniques and we brought it into our own. Yeah, we still use it today, even like in our drawings or other paintings that we do. You have to know your community, you have to know your history before you can paint a mural. developed this even further the following summer. We invited him back and we also had six additional artists that came with him. And we engaged in an oral history project with some of the local community centers here in Durham. And we interviewed the senior citizens in, in, in these areas. And we took their stories and we honored that within the mural. The community really wants to be involved. Everyone has a vested interest in the children because we know that that's going to be the future that guides our tomorrow. If we can reach out to the kids, give them the opportunity to connect with the people who are doing, moving and shaping things today and the people who found, put down the foundations yesterday, we will give them that guided path so that they can lead us in the directions that we need.
al planeta, la libertad, la, la, la solidaridad. We looked at the theme of integration and segregation, and the students actually went out into the community and they interviewed some of the first African Americans that integrated school. And they took their stories and they sat down and they designed a mural. Well, this summer I had the opportunity to participate in a workshop with the artists and was made aware of the possibility that we might be able to have them visit our school. Four teachers um, that expressed interest in the project and the idea was that each one of the teachers would do uh, an in-class project that would tie into the overarching theme uh, of desegregation and integration in Durham Public School. We started with a interviewing other people, mostly elderly people, on what it was like back in Durham when they went to school on integration and segregation. They didn't have a lot of supplies for school, and they were denied a lot of rights to do stuff at school. But the person I interviewed, she was really proud. Um, I guess it's not something that's supposed to be a thing, but proud that they had a community and they were together and they worked things together. And we came up with some concrete images, um, and then through the translation uh, of those concepts, um, the artists. Um, presented with uh, a particular image. Okay, my name is Darvlin R. McLean. In that sense of coming to America to do this and achieve the American dream, we thought of like the less fortunate people and when they get there the reality is that um, the government kind of frowns down upon the migrants that come into America. There's also a symbol with a book that says how to be a good Negro. It's on the side with the minorities way down at the bottom, like we're worth less, but that's the reality of it, which is kind of, which is very wrong. My name is Genesis Elizabeth Molina. I once, it was then, you could see like basically what everybody wants the future to be like. So what they painted is like what everybody feels like it. And how basically through mural we actually can see what's really going on. So it was like it was like a way that everybody was coming together. As things were being painted and as they were talking about it afterwards was comments using the word R. Um, our school, uh, the mural that we did there was so little I that I was hearing, and we we're such an I-centric nation. Um, and it was really nice to hear students talking about we did something. 